Hi, I'm Josh Zepps. Welcome to an all-new Brink, the show that dives into the research and the breakthroughs that are on the brink of changing our world. You remember when, to make a call, you had to go to the phone instead of the phone just being with you? Now you don't even have to take the phone out of your pocket anymore. Not if you miss a fancy Bluetooth guy. We've got Wi-Fi laptops, we've got satellite TV, wireless doohickeys coming out our ears. But the catch is, of course, you've still got to plug all this stuff into a wall to juice it up using wires. Or do ya? This weekend, the new Palm Pre smartphone goes on sale. This is the first major cell phone with built-in wireless charging technology. You just toss the thing onto a special surface. It's an accessory they call the touchstone. And the Pre charges itself wirelessly, which is cool. Problem is, again, you still need to plug that accessory into the wall to charge that, so it's not totally wire-free. But this kind of battery charging is really only the tip of the iceberg. It may not be long before we will finally be able to liberate ourselves completely from our tangled wire shackles and frolic free in a world that's really, truly wireless. Brink contributor Kiki Sanford is plugged in on the topic, and she takes a look in this Brink breakthrough. This is a Tesla coil, and soon there will be more than a million volts shooting through it. It was invented by Nikola Tesla. More than 100 years ago, his research laid the groundwork for lasers, radios, televisions, cell phones, even Wi-Fi. But his greatest dream was to transmit electricity through the air. In 1899, Tesla built a tower that zapped 1 million volts 26 miles, lighting up 200 bulbs and running an electric motor. But he also reportedly turned grass blue and fried bystanders' feet. Tesla died broke, ridiculed as a madman, and now, 100 years later, if we want juice, we still have to get it the way our great-great-grandparents did, by plugging a cord into a socket in the wall. But that's changing, because people are taking a look at Tesla's experiments and saying that he might really have been onto something. I'm here tonight with Sparky and John of Omega Recoil, an industrial production team in Oakland, California, and tonight they are going to recreate Tesla's infamous attempt at transmitting electricity through the air. Nikola Tesla invented the Tesla coil because he was interested in sending power through the air without the need of wires. We are transmitting power with this coil to this coil over here, which is not connected to power, it's connected to some light bulbs. What we're hoping is that when we hit this one, those light bulbs will light up and we'll be picking up power through the air. What you're seeing is not a special effect. That's what a million volts looks like. This proves that even though Tesla's notes were lost, wireless electricity is possible. Is our long national nightmare of tangled wires finally over? Yes, say the guys from a little Cambridge, Massachusetts startup called Ytricity. So the magic of Ytricity is that we can get this coil to operate at a certain frequency, and we can get this one to operate at exactly the same frequency so that you can transfer energy very efficiently over a distance. Tesla tried to send power over long distances using electrical conduction. Ytricity uses resonating magnetic coils to send power over short distances. It's all based on the same principle on which a singer can break a glass by tuning her voice to the exact frequency the glass vibrates. It sounds dangerous, but the company says it's all perfectly safe. The Earth has a magnetic field. The fields that we're using here are about the same intensity as the Earth's magnetic field. The difference is that we're running this at a very specific frequency. So what we've got here is the source, which could very easily be plugged into the wall. It could be behind two wall studs and behind drywall. It could be in the ceiling. It could be in the floor. What we've done here is to put it behind a painting so that the power gets transferred wirelessly to the television set. Look, Ma, no wires. Wireless chargers only use the power they need, so all of those hardwired chargers, which suck what's called vampire power out of your walls, contributing to global warming, may be a thing of the past. 
this could reduce the amount of power your appliances use by 20%. There are more than two external power adapters for every man, woman, and child on the planet Earth. And if you're anything like me, sometimes you feel like half of them are underneath your desk. The fact that we're finally, 100 years later, fulfilling Nikola Tesla's dream, I say, is none too soon. Thanks, Kiki. Y-Tricity says its products should be hitting stores in a year and a half or so. And another wireless power technology called E-Coupled hopes to have pads for charging power tools available this fall. So if you're sick of your power cords taking up more space than the itty-bitty little devices that they charge, have hope. Pretty soon you may never have to search for an empty outlet or an extension cord ever again.